Welcome back to the adventures of the Florida Powerboat Club here on YouTube. Stu Jones along with producer Ryan McCoy. And we are back in the Pompano Beach studio trying to wrap up this Miami Boat Show Poker Run, which has turned out to be now four episodes. We're halfway through the program. Now moving into episode three with full coverage of this 70-plus uh, fleet of offshore powerboats heading down to the Florida Keys in the middle of February. So before we get started, let's thank our sponsors. Our presenting sponsor for the FPC 2023 series of events is Mercury Racing, celebrating 50 years of wide open. And by these sponsors in alphabetical order, Big Thunder Marine, Blackwater Boats, Cigarette Racing Team, Concept Boats, Deep Impact Custom Boats, Doug Wright Power Boats, Fountain Power Boats, Midnight Express Boats, Nortec High Performance Boats, Performance Boat Center, Plantation Boat Mart, SD Marine Group Isla Mirada, Statement Marine, and Top Gun Performance Dealers for Cigarette Racing. And we're going to open up this episode with this really cool shot I got on my iPhone uh, running on the Flight 1130 cigarette through the Port of Miami. And this is just um, one of the evenings right after the Miami Boat Show getting ready for this poker run down to the Florida Keys. Uh, so let's just backtrack a couple of days to the Miami Boat Show. We stopped by at the Inwater Show and visited our friends at Midnight Express Power Boats who had a big display uh, both inside the convention center and here on the docks. And really, it was here at the docks where they really put on the big show. Uh, almost every model that they manufacture from uh, 37 to 43 and, of course, the big Vitesse. But there's a lineup of uh, 43 Solstice models. And just when we thought we had seen every color configuration of uh, exterior and interiors, well, guess what, guys? They blew it out of the park again. And that's why they call it a custom boat. The combinations of flooring and interiors and exterior paint uh, are just endless now and the more variations we get the more creative they're getting at Midnight Express of course the one thing that we can call a common denominator is the power that's going to be Mercury Racing and the popular 450R is equipped on most Midnight Express models some guys like four some guys like five and of course the new Mercury Racing 500R is the game changer and we can expect to see a lot of Midnight Express owners opting for that new power package now I do want to point out, and this is interesting, uh, that I will say that Midnight Express is one of the few companies that will do this, but I'm starting to see a lot of Midnight Express owners, and obviously they're very loyal owners, uh, buying new boats. And the factory is taking in their trades and reselling them to other buyers, but in some cases taking a boat that might be uh, two or three or even four years old, as recently as five years old. I just saw a 2016 model that was fully refurbed. Uh, with new Mercury Racing 450Rs and some tweaking to the interior. And Midnight Express is selling those boats as really factory recertified. Uh, and depending on which power you get, you might even get warranties with the motors. This is something that I think is a credit to Midnight Express. And I just hope that they keep the ball rolling on that program. And we are currently on board this big 52V test, which will join us down on the Miami Boat Show Poker Run. She will be the flagship of all the Midnights attending. I believe we had a total of at least five Midnight Express models on the run just a few days later. And if the Midnight display at the Inwater Show wasn't enough to blow you away, well, certainly the display inside the convention center would. This uh, 43 Solstice on display with a matching Lamborghini. So let's wrap up this Midnight Express segment with this little teaser shot from the Miami Boat Show Poker Run down at Postcard Inn. This was the Friday morning sponsor shoot, and we will see that later in the show. So let us hit the reset button uh, back at Grove Harbor Marina on the morning of departure. It's a Thursday, and it's a beautiful February morning. Uh, as all of these teams are getting ready dockside at Grove Harbor Marina. You can see the fleet is all tied up. Most of them have been here since the day before. Uh, so they've overnighted here and stayed in the hotels across the street. We have both the uh, Courtyard Marriott and the Ritz-Carlton and a few other little hotels mixed in uh, that are here in Coconut Grove. So it's a nice overnighting location. And it looks like it's going to be family day for this dad. He's got his little munchkin uh, already in her life jacket. Smart dad. Uh, but just look at how amazing this day is going to be. Uh, in the middle of February, where pretty much the rest of the country is under a cover of snow. And here we are walking around in t-shirts and tank tops. 
Yeah, talking about you, girl. But certainly a very casual vibe as everyone gets ready, brings in the uh, luggage and uh, opens up the hatches and one more inspection of the engine room before we hit the throttles and get out for a fun day on the water. Oh, you go, Leslie. She's going all out. No tank top for her. She's going full bikini this morning. And, of course, so is Hagen. So, got to say, guys, the, the girls of Midnight Express, they know how to get things started. And I just hope all the other ladies follow suit because it is pretty warm. And I think it's going to be a big bikini day here as we leave Grove Harbor Marina. And a very rare Avanti sighting. Uh, Barnett Favita, one of our new club members. Uh, with this uh, late model Avanti built in Miami, and it may be the only one that we have in the club at this particular time. And there's another rare ride. Well, it's rare because it's a new model. This is uh, Jesse and Stephanie Newman in their new Nortec 400 Super Sport. Looks like they're getting ready to start the poker cards now, guys. So uh, let's get ready for that. It's my favorite part of the show because we get a close up of. No, not Kendall's butt. We get a close-up of the teams as they come up to the dock to get their cards. And Kendall's butt just might happen to get in the way every once in a while. Yes, indeed, card number one now uh, as we catch up with the team on this 33R. That's Rick Spade. In fact, it's a brand new model of 2023, and it's powered by Mercury Racing 300Rs. The team traveled a long way from home, 1,500 miles. It was their first time on the Miami run, and Rick says he'll be back. And here's a team we've seen a lot of in the past. It's Bruno and Rebecca Pere from Palm Beach Gardens in their 39-foot outer limits called Team Megawatts. And it's got Mercury Racing 520s. They say they love the boat. It's worked out great for them. They normally do Key West every year. So by joining us for the Miami run, that's two events for year. They're really stepping up their game. And let's welcome Gary Morikel and Team Family of Four, Nortec 390 Sport. Got a set of quad Mercury Racing 400Rs all the way from Fort Wayne, Indiana. Their first event with the Florida Powerboat Club, but they didn't have to travel far this morning. They keep the boat at F3 Storage in Fort Lauderdale. And now let's welcome Connor and Allie Toomey from Maryland and Team Alley Cat. 32-foot Doug Wright with a pair of Mercury Racing 300Rs. A big change for them because they used to run around with the club in a 39-foot outer limits with big power, but this cat seems to be suiting them just fine. They've had it now for a couple of years, uh, and, and they really love running around in the Florida Keys. In fact, in their video bio, they said that the reason they returned is because in the Florida Keys, it's the best boating in the country. Hey, I gotta agree. And let's welcome back Frank Bolte all the way from France. Uh, he's gonna win the farthest traveled award, I'm sure. Uh, this is a MTI 44 cat. He's got some upgraded uh, Mercury Racing 1100s um, modified to about 1500 horsepower each by Koss Racing Engines. And on board with Frank today is uh, crew chief Sean Evans who managed every aspect of the boat. And let's welcome back Daniel Cates. Uh, certainly not his first rodeo with FPC Team Naughty Naughty is a 2019 Renegade 33 Open. It's got triple Mercury 400 Rs. And I'm thinking back to when Daniel first got this boat. It had to be about four years ago. I believe we were at the Faro Blanco Resort in Marathon. It was either the Miami run or perhaps the January winter poker run. So Daniel, you got to clear me up on the details. But I think it was your first event. Now we're going to welcome back Bob Lattis from Massachusetts. Uh, looks like it's a boys weekend. It says Bob and Charlene on the screen, but I don't see Charlene in the boat. <laughs> <laughs> I did see her on the last time I ran into him down in the Keys, but it looks like it's a boys' run on this MTI 48. And a little slow-mo just to give you guys an eight-second feature of the lovely Miss Kendall, one of our FPC card girls here this morning. And next up yet is another MTI 48. This time it's Steve Presley from Naples and Team Extreme Induction. He normally drives with his wife, Teresa, and they've done a lot of events with their various cigarette boats that they've owned. They still have the cigarettes, and yes, he still has a wife, Teresa, but no, nope, today it's my race car buddies, he says. He's brought along for the ride. This MTI 48 is powered by Mercury Racing 1550s, and all I can say is, wow, he's definitely a contender for an award this weekend. And now it's time to welcome Daniel Goldberg and uh, the team Shadowfax uh, 2017 Nortec 390. And he's got a fun crew on board today. And he told me in his uh, video bio that they were really impressed by the event, being their first one. They had never been around all these powerboats before, so they were just blown away. 
And he also said that because this boat is all white, unlike so many other Nortex that have a lot of graphics, he has named her Shadowfax after the mythical white horse from Lord of the Rings. Now, they didn't have to travel very far. came down just from Fort Lauderdale to join us. Interesting note about Steve is that his background is in racing sailboats and in off-road cars, but this is his very first go-fast boat. Well, Daniel, you certainly came to the right place. We're so glad you guys could join us. And now it's time for this very classic V-bottom Eric Wex all the way from California in this 42th Chief called Miss Wex. And uh, there is offshore royalty on board today as he reaches out for the card. Yes, indeed, everybody. That is Bobby Sassenti, who is, you know, obviously an iconic boat builder and a big celebrity, in my opinion, in the offshore powerboat world. So nice to see Bobby on board. And now we're going to say hi to Joe Solello from Fort Lauderdale in his 39-foot Doug Wright Cat Twin Mercury Racing 400 Rs. And he's done many events with us over the years, uh, but he seems to like this Miami Boat Show Poker Run every February. Any of us who know Joe well would know that he's a professional in tile and cabinets and marble and granite and all that good stuff. He helped us out a lot with our house, so thanks, Joe. And here's a team that's been having a lot of fun with this Deep Impact 399. This is Eddie Collier from Tennessee with his first mate, Emma, reaching out for the card. And uh, team right now is going to be on display at the sponsor dock at Postcard Inn and most likely going to take part in that manufacturer photo and video session on Friday morning. Uh, check out the Power Mercury Racing 450Rs. What a great looking boat. So that is going to wrap up our Grove Harbor poker card segment. Special thanks to our lovely FPC girls, Kendall on the left and Kelly on the right. And we can't wait to see you guys again soon. So let us fast forward to uh, midday here on this beautiful Thursday as our photo and video crew gets ready to take off in the Robinson R44. They've been situated here at SD Marine Group in Isla Mirada. We want to thank SD Marine for rolling out the red carpet or in this case, let's call it a, an open helipad uh, because uh, the owner does fly a helicopter back and forth uh, from South Florida down here uh, quite frequently. So that's worked out quite well for them and certainly for us. And of course, many of us follow SD Marine Group who are currently uh, under renovation and construction to build a beautiful restaurant here and a boutique hotel. And let's not forget that they are already a full service marine center uh, with dealers for cigarette and Camus boats. And the big addition more recently as they purchased a dry storage marina across the other side of the highway. So we are now picking up the teams as they depart from the Gilbert's Lunch Stop headed to Isla Mirada. Kicking things off here, Alexander and Lindsay Alanis and team Never Not Working. It's their first event with the club and Alex told us in his video bio that he and his wife spent over a year restoring this 2004 Carrera Center console. It's powered by twin Suzuki outboards. I think Alex is going to wish he had about four Mercury Racing 450s right about now so we could chase down Rusty Williams. <laughs> but nobody's going to catch Rusty Williams right now. He's in a Performance Powerboat 360. It's got Mercury Racing 450Rs. And uh, judging by the way they're running right now, I think he's doing about a buck 10, a buck 15. So I don't think there's many guys are going to catch him right now. So we'll just cut Rusty loose and let him put on a good show. Well, there is another cat uh, willing to play. It's Connor and Allie Toomey and Allie Cat, 32-foot Doug Wright, pair of Mercury Racing 300Rs, which means they're probably not going to catch Rusty, but they are going to have a lot of fun. And now it's Frank Bolte one more time with uh, Sean Evans at the helm with him and uh, running this 44 MTI. Good and hard right now. Got some great conditions as they cross through these bay waters, throwing up a nice rooster tail. And once again, I'm not entirely certain what power they have now. I'll let Sean Evans uh, get me sorted out on this, but they are running good today. Well, we saw Rusty earlier. Now we've got the other Performance Boat Center entry, Brett Manier. Uh, in this Sensation 40 CCX. It's powered by Triple Mercury 450Rs. We are going to catch up with Brett a little later in the show. He's going to tell us more about this boat. I think they just took it in on trade. Performance Boat Center is the authorized sales center for all Sensation models. And we're now moving into our next poker card segment, and it's been a new addition uh, to the circuit 
uh, and it just so happens it's between Key Largo and Isla Morada. This is the home of J.R. Aiden uh, in this beautiful bay. It's just uh, kind of at the transition point from Key Largo to Tavernier. Uh, and you can see all the FPC girls are out here and ready. Uh, as Simon Williams pulls up to the dock to pick up his card, there's the lovely Hannah. She brought her girlfriends up for the weekend to join us. And this is our lovely first mate, D. Babcock, riding along on this Fountain 38 SCX, sponsored by Cortez Cove Marina. And now let's welcome Nick and Christy Evans on Team Recovered Money. It's a 2013 36-foot statement center console. They've got a big crew on board today. And I think that they really have grown fond of this center console. It allows them to bring as many friends as they wish. And their other boat is a completely restored 50-foot Nortec Cat. Now let's say hi to Andrew Rocco and his crew on this 34-foot Victory Cat. Team Time Conscious. He's joined by club member Darius Ceriza for this weekend event. And it's another cat. This time it's a 37-foot DCB Grant Bernardi from Minnesota. Long way from home in Team Wavemaker 3. I think he's going to win the farthest trailer award. His first event was the Key West Poker Run back in November, so I'm guessing he's found a place to leave the boat for the winter season. And it's one more time now with Gary and Samantha Morikal. We saw them earlier in the show getting a cart. It's team family of four. And Gary was pleased to admit that his wife didn't want to get into power boating at the beginning, but now that she's done a run, she says she's hooked. And now we're catching up with uh, Team Big Thunder Marine of their Key Largo store. It's just a couple miles down the road. This is Anthony Vera in a 34-foot fountain. It's powered by Triple Mercury 300R mainline. And a little later in the show, we're going to get a chance to get this 34 matched up with those 238 SCX models and get them out for a nice photo and video shoot near Postcard Inn. And here's a great shot from our drone. Uh, there's that 38 SCX I'm riding on today with Simon ND. Closing in now on our FPC girls doing a great job here. Hannah, Maddie, and Chloe handing off the poker card as uh, Daniel Goldberg pulls up in Team Shadowfax. Another Nortec 390 Sport Center Console. Just so happens we have a lot of them signed up for the event. Here's a different angle that I got from uh, my camera as they pulled up. Nice to see this uh, new teams getting into the club. Uh, they're from Fort Lauderdale. I'm just surprised that we haven't seen them sooner. But I know that we're going to see a lot more of Daniel Goldberg and his crew. And a big shout out to J.R. Aiden uh, for setting us up with this uh, airship rib. We were going to do it off the dock, but uh, this, he decided that with this little rubber go fast boat tied properly that we could get all the boats in close by without having any fender benders. Uh, and here comes Team Misbehaving, a cigarette 41 Nighthawk. This is Catherine McCormick with her first mate, Jeff Jones, her husband, uh, pulling up for their poker card now. And our drone pilot, Andre, is sitting way, way back there on the shoreline, uh, but somehow managed to get in close and get a nice shot of this 41 Nighthawk getting up on plane. Check it out. And here's another one of our newcomers. Uh, this is Craig Blankenship in this 35-foot uh, statement. He's all the way from Michigan, but he's going to be keeping the boat stored at the statement factory in St. Petersburg. So welcome uh, Craig and his crew on their first event with the club. This 35 statement is powered by Triple Mercury Racing 400Rs, and I know we're going to get a chance to get some good aerial photo and video when we do the statement segment uh, later the next morning. And it's one more time with Joe Salello and his Doug Wright 39. Uh, we don't see him out a lot on runs because he works a lot. But, uh, you know, nice to see Joe breaking away for the weekend, getting his 39-foot cat out for a ride today. And there you go, guys. That's why we used the airship rib because no fender benders here, just a little push from the rubber nose. And the girls are doing a great job of fending the boats off. You gotta love these shots, uh, especially when you get the drone up high and looking down into these shallow waters in the Florida Keys, they just look incredible. Uh, Bruno and Rebecca Pere now pulling up to the dock and Team Megawatts, their 39-foot Outer Limits Quattro. And as I mentioned just a little earlier in the show, they were always a one-hit wonder. Every year they would do the Key West Poker Run, but somehow they found their way to the Miami Boat Show Poker Run 
And I know that they really have a passion for this power boating as a sport, but just as much as they love the exotic cars, I see them every once in a while on the car rallies like the Toy Run in December. Uh, but nice to see these guys out having fun. This boat was formerly owned by another FPC member. It was powered by 525s. And he was worried about selling the boat, you know, with uh, old tired motors. So instead of rebuilding the 525s, just about that time, the new 520s had come out. So he bought a set of 520s and completely re-rigged the boat with new power. So when Bruno bought the boat, it was like a new boat. And from what I can see, it's worked out pretty well for them. And let's now welcome uh, Mark and Eileen Fisher on their Blackwater 36. Well, at least maybe Mark Fisher and the boys. I don't think Eileen's riding on board today. She's uh, more comfortable now hanging out in their big yacht, which happens to be matched up to this tender. So the 36 Blackwater is to tender to Eileen's way. It is a 120-foot motor yacht that's based in Marathon, Florida. And uh, the Fishers, of course, have been very active with the club for very, very many years. Of course, Mark got bit by the bug and decided to own a boat company. So he has since now, for about eight years, maybe even nine by now, has owned the Blackwater brand. Of course, its sister company is Deep Impact, both uh, built in Miami. And uh, joining him for the ride today, along with Mark, is uh, at the helm is club member Michael Sands. Uh, that's David Smith in the back seat. Of course, he's married to Megan from our office. And in the blue shirt, that is uh, Mark's nephew, Brian Shanahan. And it's another money shot uh, from our drone as this uh, 36 Blackwater gets up on plane. But it's probably the last time you're going to see this boat because Mark has a new 43 Blackwater coming real soon. And from a 36-foot center console to this 39-foot MTI, Mike Chisuli from New Jersey, Team Maxon. And, of course, it shows really the wide variety of boats that we have here on this run. I think we are just thinning out the pack now as the final boats are coming in to get their card. And a lot of teams were asking, why did we have this new card checkpoint in Key Largo? Well, it's because it's going to be one of our raft-up locations for the Saturday program. Uh, remember that the sandbar by Postcard Inn gets really crowded on Saturdays. So we are going to reserve Saturday for more of fun runs to get away from Isla Mirada. And uh, J.R. Aiden's house is going to be one of those locations. I figured that having a checkpoint would be a good way for everybody to have this location already marked in their GPS. And I believe I was successful because, well, you'll find out later. And it looks like we have wrapped up the card segment. And thanks to Simon and Dee for their patience and really giving us the excellent platform here on this Fountain 38 SCX uh, to capture some of the photo and video and the excitement of this checkpoint. Of course, thanks to J.R. Aiden and his crew there standing on the dock for providing us with a venue. And of course, to our lovely three FPC girls, Hannah and Chloe and Maddie, uh, for handing out the cards and looking real fine. So uh, lots more excitement as we head further now down to Isla Mirada, which will be our final destination at Postcard Inn. I think this was a successful checkpoint. And I can't think of anything better to be doing in the middle of February but to be down here in the Florida Keys. And it's one more time with Brian Mullinex in the Ox Marine 32 Metal Shark. He's our safety volunteer. Well, it appears that all of the teams are now arriving at Postcard Inn. And uh, kind of a mud fest because it's very shallow here. And uh, while nobody's really picking anything up, they sure are stirring up the bottom. But it's harmless. Uh, just important, though, to keep your drives up. Looks like somebody uh, packed it in over the mud bank on the left side. You've got to stay in these channels as you arrive. And I think the biggest lesson that we all need to learn when we do arrive at this marina, or any marina for that matter, uh, is to be ready. First of all, you know, to have your lines and your fenders ready and have your crew on board so that when you do get into the dock, uh, you're ready to raft up quickly. Uh, I think the biggest problem is, is that, um, you know, there's a lot of sometimes a lot of wind and current. And then, of course, you're dealing with the shallow water. So the more you're just milling around and not really in the right place, uh, the more likely you will pick up a little bit of silt uh, in your drives. And I always tell everybody to trim up and stay very, very close to the dock. So these boats that are positioned here, well, they're probably close to 100 or more feet away from the dock, not very favorable as they're now about to learn as they see the brown mud kicking up. So uh, very important to stay close to the dock and have your lines and fenders ready. 
so that you can make a quick turn and get into your spot. Of course, some of us are docked on the inside basin. A little more convenient, this is a sponsor dock. So naturally, all of these uh, slips are pre-assigned. Uh, there's Greg Cannell coming in with his uh, Nortec 390 from Legend Marine Group. They're one of our sponsors for the event. And that's uh, pretty much how we assign all of the docking. And it is somewhat limited here in the Postcard Inn Marina Basin because there's uh, only about 15 or 16 slips and you can see it's a tight fit. And for any outboard center console, you have to nose the boat in on these slips because there are no finger piers. Well, welcome. Thank you. You'll be seeing a lot of me and, and my little friend here. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, man, yes. so people can find their way to the right place. <laughs> Well, clearly everybody is getting situated here uh, at the Postcard Inn and Marina. Another tight squeeze for these two cats. Remember, we have a length limitation on these inside slips of 35 feet. So we were able to get that DCB and that 34 MTI in. Everybody else is going to be rafting up here on the outside bulkhead, uh, which is, uh, you know, close to 500 feet in length. So it does give us enough space to put in several rows of boats rafting. But we've really been watching it more closely uh, this year. Uh, because way, way back in the past, the people can remember that we used to be seven or eight or nine boats deep. And that really just doesn't work, especially if we get a big wind at nighttime and difficult for the boats because they start bouncing around and the rafts start bending uh, from the dock. And it's not really a safe situation. So we do have limitations uh, here at Post Guard Inn. But the good news is that our friends over at ST Marine Group are giving us plenty of overflow docking. Uh, for those of us who don't want to be in that melee and that uh, big raft up out on the bulkhead. So it's only a mile down the road and we have a shuttle servicing that location. So this has been a good uh, overflow situation for us at SD Marine Group at Snake Creek. And for those of you who are paying attention to who's tying up with who, well clearly we've got skaters with skaters or at least cats with cats and center consoles with center consoles if we can match up manufacturers that's even better because most often then the cleats will line up perfectly It's a good time to catch up with some of our sponsors, so uh, let's get in on the basin and see who's around to give us a little chat. This is Brett Manier from Performance Boat Center, my girlfriend Caitlin Crystal. Hey. We're here on uh, what I just found out to be the 28th annual Miami Boat Show Poker Run. Had a great day today. Uh, we have a 32 sensation with the new V10 uh, 400Rs on land. We did some demos on today and wrote two orders. Um, I just took this 2021 40 Sensation uh, 40 CCX with triple 450s on trade uh, from Michigan. We brought it down Monday for the run and then we brought one of our Performance Power Boat 360s. So a uh, mixture of demos and hanging out with customers all day today and we'll do it again all day tomorrow and then boat home Sunday. And we really appreciate everything that uh, Stu, Jackie and all the Florida Power Boat Club team does for us. I know it's a lot of work. We do a couple events at Lake of the Ozarks and your phone burns off and you're like, man, is it worth it? But uh, my hat's off to you guys. You put on a hell of an event. And catching up with some of our crews, uh, Sean and Shelby uh, from Arizona with their team from uh, Zero Discipline, a 388 skater. Uh, but I think that there's Jerry with his camera and that means uh, he's got one of our FPC girls, Chloe, going to go find a, a nice piece of fiberglass, i.e. a really cool powerboat to pose her on and maybe get some shots of our newest FPC girl. So let's enjoy this.
And another one of our newcomers to the FPC squad is uh, Maddie from Key West. She came up with Hannah. And it looks like they've chosen uh, to have Brian's 32-foot uh, metal shark marine uh, with the ox outboards uh, as the backdrop for the shoot down here on the guest dock. So join me in welcoming Maddie to FPC. And of course, uh, one of our all-time favorites is the lovely Hannah, uh, who organizes all of the FPC girls uh, in the Florida Keys. So thanks to Hannah. She's had a lot of experience with us uh, attending these events. Not only is she very pretty, she's also very helpful with all of the various responsibilities with FPC, including uh, helping out with check-ins and sponsor awards and catered functions. So thank you very much to Hannah. And of course, we will see her again in Key West this fall. So thanks again to Hannah for helping us get a nice crew of FPC girls and of course to our FPC photo and video team that's Jerry on stills and of course Ryan on the video camera. Well it has been an action packed Thursday so it's uh, time to wrap up today and uh, let's fast forward to Friday morning as we're getting ready for our manufacturer photo shoots uh, for all of the sponsors to get out there with their boats in the uh, ocean waters. So we're checking in now with our FPC photo and video crew taking off with this Robinson R44 from once again their home base here at SD Marine Group. And the beauty is they only had to fly about 500 feet over the bridge to catch up with Catherine McCormick in her 41 foot cigarette Nighthawk with Quad Mercury Racing 450Rs. And since this was the newest and one of the nicest cigarettes on the run, uh, it was kind of a no-brainer to appoint her as our official cigarette factory representative. And they are having a blast today out here in these nice coastal waters. And many of us who follow Cigarette would know that this model was introduced just a few years back and has really taken the Cigarette enthusiast by storm. A very popular center console model runs great with Quad Mercury Racing 450Rs. Just enough beam to give you a lot of spacious cockpit, uh, but yet still perform well with its step bottom. Combine that with the hard top and a spacious cabin down below, I think you have really a very well-rounded, high-performance center console, which is perfect for poker runs. And that is why it's very popular in the club. We have several of these Nighthawks in the Florida Powerball Club now. And next on deck for our sponsor shoot is the SD Marine Group KMS 34 center console powered by twin Mercury 400 Verados, a great power package and really just an excellent boat for the Florida Keys, which is why I think that SD Marine Group is doing very well with the Camus line. Of course, there are also cigarette dealers, but let's face it, guys, we're here in the Florida Keys. Everybody likes a nice center console with outboard power and they like to go fishing, but it's also a great boat for diving and snorkeling and of course for taking the family out for a Sunday ride and finding a nice lunch spot. So check out the Camus lineup at SD Marine Group. And let us welcome back George Ariano with 151 Express. He had three boats registered, but this race boat is a 2022 Key West World Champion in the Mod V class. George tells us that he uses this Miami Boat Show run to bring the team back after a six-month hiatus before the 2023 racing season begins. He said it's a great shakedown for the boat and also a way to bring the team together. And now kicking off the statement sponsor segment is Craig Blankenship from Michigan, one of our newest uh, members of the club. He just purchased this 2021 35 statement from Nick Buis. That statement has got triple 400 R's. He says it was a fantastic experience dealing with Nick and all the statement crew, and he's happy to be doing his first event with FPC. 
Craig mentioned that he couldn't wait to do the next poker run, and just so happens that's going to be Tampa in just two months. So we look forward to seeing Craig and his crew there. And our next statement, and this time it's also another new team, Danik Leskowski from New Jersey. A 38-foot statement with Triple Mercury Racing 450Rs. you got to love the graphics and how the engine cowlings match the blue on the side of the boat. I love the way the boat looked, but I can tell you something. I love the way it sounded, too. In fact, he won the award for the best audio system sponsored by JL Audio. And it's time once again for a big shout-out to Midnight Express. We saw them in the earlier stages of the show. Now we've got Eric Glazer from the factory leading this group with his brand-new 52V test. That's the one we saw in Miami. And look at the three went to five. Now we've got five boats running all together in a perfect formation. Uh, Really first-class, guys. That's a 37 off to the left, 52 in the center, and three brand-new 43 Midnight Solstice. So I want to thank all of these Midnight Express owners uh, for putting on this fantastic money shot as we conclude this episode number three with feature coverage of the Miami Boat Show Poker Run with members of the Florida Power Boat Club. Well, the good news, guys, is that we have one more show to go, episode four, just around the corner. So we have plenty more action here from Isla Mirada, Florida, with the Post Guard Inn and Marina as our headquarter facility. Uh, thanks to all of our sponsors and to all of you guys for joining us. And you can't afford to miss our next adventure with the members of the Florida Powerboat Club, so be sure to pound that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you'll get an update every time a new episode is released. Be sure to check out the website at flpowerboat.com for all of the details about upcoming Poker Run events in 2021 as well as membership information. You can follow us on Facebook at Florida Powerboat Club, and you can follow us on Twitter and on these Instagram pages. Thanks to all of our viewers uh, for your wonderful comments on our page. And you guys know who you are, and I really do appreciate that. But if you have questions or comments you want to direct to me specifically, please use my personal email at stu at flpowerboat.com. I check that daily, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. We're going to sign off for now. This is Stu Jones along with our producer, Ryan McCoy, in the Pompano Beach studio. Have fun out there, guys. Be safe on the waterways. Wear your life jackets when the time is right, and always respect your fellow boaters. Bye for now.